Okay, so uh, haven't done this for a while already. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the stock market, SPY in general. As you can see, this is a head and shoulders. Uh. Uh, it's a bit weird, uh, this head and shoulders. This is the head. Okay. This is the shoulders. This is the shoulder. Okay. So the shoulder has two arms. Uh. Okay. I'm going to take it out because you know really where the head and shoulders are. Uh, so you you actually get a few necklines uh, with this. Usually you only got one neckline uh, in a straight uh, uh in a one arm uh, shoulder situation now with two arms uh, you get a few uh, neck lines uh, for this one okay so what happened was a uh, br bridge past the neck line come down really it tried to go back up uh, cannot make it I, I think everybody was very bearish uh, rejected at the time very bearish come down try one more time okay now coincidentally yeah uh, it's not a coincidence actually uh, this is second neckline, okay. Now it tried to breach the second neckline. Cannot, cannot breach for three days. Yeah, it tried, but to no avail. It came down, bam. Okay, so uh, it managed to stay above the first neckline. So if on Monday, uh, it comes down some more, and stays below this uh, first neckline, most likely is going to come down to this level. Uh, Okay, 4175, that's where I, I think uh, that's going to be the first, one of the first, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, okay, I think it's going to come down to 4175. So what does the pat pattern correspond with? Well, look at it properly, it's not rocket science. You don't have to have a degree in uh, what technical analysis to be able to understand this. Lower highs are being made. Okay, and lower lows are being made. So this is a downward trend. Okay, so this is not rocket science. Uh. Okay, so I, I do believe that uh, the S&P 500 is going to come down. If, right, if I said it stays, it can stay, if it stays below here. For two candles, Monday, Tuesday, if it stays below this 4327 level, uh, most likely it is going to come down to this level, this zone. Okay, and I think it's going to hold in this zone. Okay, so yeah, it's going to play around this zone. Lah. Okay, I think it's going to play around this zone. I think this zone has a sideways movement that is quite powerful. Lah. So I do believe this is where it's going to play around. This is the next game. Okay, uh, if it does come down here, well, my only recommendation to you all is start buying. Lah. Right. Okay. What else? W what else can I tell you all to do? Okay. Start start buying. Okay. When it comes down here. So I've been buying so far here. I buy it a bit. Went up. Come down here. I buy a bit. Okay. I'm not really buying the super. Like in big lots. Like maybe $300. $300. Probably for counters. Uh. I'm actually still waiting for it to come down here. Okay. Now, uh, this is the first technical analysis already confirmed. So I think the short term is going to come down. Uh, after that, I don't know where it's going to go. Lah. But if this crosses, uh, a lot of people are going to be bearish. I think it's, it might touch the bottom here. Okay, if this crosses, one is down and one goes flat. And you're going to have a shitty situation, lah, basically. Uh, basically, you're going to have a downward trend. Uh, is it possible that it's going to be breached? Yes, it is actually possible to get a breach. But to reverse the downwards momentum, it has to breach until below 3008. So that's still quite far. We still have 500 points. Okay, in order to breach and destroy the pattern. So if this comes down here, that means the upwards momentum from this uh, thing is gone. If this thing comes out and then comes down below here, that means the upwards momentum from this uh, channel is gone. It is going to form a new channel already. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's going to form a new channel. You all be, be careful. Uh. Now, this is technical analysis. As you all know, technical is mostly probability. 
it might or might not come true. Okay, so I rather talk about other things lah. The inflation numbers, I think, is a bit too mild. Too mild. I think it was fake. After I see it, it cannot be lah. Inflation number seems fake actually. I don't trust the inflation number. I don't trust the inflation number. Uh, I do in fact think it's supposed to be higher. That's one. Two. Uh, I believe that inflation is gonna remain high lah. Okay, even uh, for next year. Now, a very simple reason why is because the government is not doing what it's supposed to do, right? It's supposed to QT means take out the money from the market, but instead the money is staying flat. Oh, in fact, for one month it went up. I don't know for what. What is this? Was this the bank liquidity they inject? liquidity into the banks by lending the thing or what and now it starts falling down again but it falls out as a gentle pet the way the rate it falls is very gentle now so i'm not very confident la, that uh, we are going to have a recession because they are not taking money out of the market okay so before i make any movements la, or any bets on recession and all that la, i I think I want to relax a bit lah, relax a bit. Okay, I want to relax a bit more, and I want to see stronger pattern lah that emerge. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much lah for now.